If you're an iPhone user, but you use a Windows PC for work, study, or as your personal computer, there's a chance you'd be looking over at your Android using friends a little enviously. They've had the ability to sync notifications, send messages, and control their phones from a PC for a little while now. If that's you, look enviously no more. With the latest phone link update, you could connect your iPhone to your PC in much the same way, although slightly restricted. This means you'll be able to view notifications, messages, and more, all wirelessly direct from your Windows 11 PC. I'm Cam Bunton from Pocketlint, and in this video, I'm going to show you how it's done. So before you get started or get your hopes up, there are some requirements that you'll need to meet in order for this to work properly. First, you need a PC with Windows 11, Bluetooth connectivity, and the latest version of the PhoneLink app installed. That PhoneLink app is also available for Windows 10, but that one only supports Android phones on that version. Trust us, we tried. It also doesn't work in some older versions of Windows 11, so be sure to check your main settings and check for patches and updates, installing any of those before you start this process. You might also need to update to the latest version of the PhoneLink app, so visit the Microsoft Store and click your library in the side tab and check for updates. Or search for PhoneLink and install it if you haven't already. Then you'll need an iPhone running iOS 14 or later with the Microsoft Link to Windows app installed. You can find that by searching in the App Store. It's not currently available for the iPad. So to get started and connect your iPhone to your PC, just follow the following steps. Open your phone link app on the Windows PC or laptop first. If you haven't got a shortcut on your desktop, just search for it in the Start menu. Once open, choose iPhone from the options, and now on your iPhone, open the Link to Windows app that you've downloaded earlier. On your phone, tap Scan QR Code. It might ask you for access to your camera if you haven't used this app before. Now use your iPhone to scan the QR code on the screen of your PC. Allow the app to access your Bluetooth if that option comes up, and then pair with the PC. You may need to confirm a PIN number matches here before continuing on both devices. Your computer should then display instructions on how to configure your Bluetooth settings. So open Settings and then Bluetooth on your iPhone and tap the little I next to your PC name in the Paired Devices list. On the next screen, you'll need to enable Share System Notifications, Sync Contacts and Show Notifications. Once you've toggled all of those on, your PC should now have access to all the parts of your iPhone that it needs for this service to work. So hit Continue on your PC and you're good to go. So what exactly can you do with it? Well, you can read notifications as well as make and receive phone calls and send and receive text messages within the PhoneLink app on your PC. New notifications will appear as Windows notifications so that they can be checked, pinned or dismissed directly from the Windows interface. Message support also includes iMessage as well as SMS, which is a pretty big deal, but as it stands, group messages are not supported. Compared to Android, the experience has been dialed back a bit. With Android devices, you can view your photos, control media playback, set your phone to silent, and more. If you wish to access your iPhone photos on your Windows PC, you can do that with the Photos app and its iCloud integration, but the fact that it's a separate app makes this a little bit more of a hassle. So, there you go, a quick guide on how to connect and sync your iPhone with your Windows PC. I've been Cam, I'm at Cam Bunton on social media. If you want to get a hold of me there, you can do, or you can use the comments down below. If you did find this video useful, please do let us know. Hit that like button, subscribe, and tap the notification bell to make sure you don't miss any more. And I'll see you again in the next one. Bye for now.